Now that the body is all nice and shiny, also some other parts needed some attention and my thumb needed some black spray paint as I'm terrible at aiming with these spray cans but by now you should have known that as I did the exact same thing in a couple of videos ago. Never mind, just moving on. All the parts that were left got painted with some primer and then put into some color, all from Tamiya in various colors of spray cans. With all the various parts and pieces now painted, they dried up and it was time for assembly. Starting off with the interior, I did not really do a lot of detailing as I wanted to keep the interior very clean looking and by looking at some reference pictures, the real interior doesn't really have a lot of colors or details in it as well. So I'm just sticking to some black and some flat black accents here and there. Even though I did not detail the interior out to the max, I did still give it some flocking for the carpet to make it look that much more realistic than it would have if it stayed just normal black paint. Now, the way I'm doing this, I'm just applying some enamel paints from Humbrol. These are very sticky and stay sticky for a while, and I'm just applying it to the parts that I want to have the carpet or the flocked look and then later on I will apply some flocking on top of it simulating the carpet. With the wet paint applied to all the surfaces I needed to be flocked, I loaded the tea sifter with some flocking and flocked away. Flocking is generously applied to the wet paint and then just shift it around making sure all the wet paint is covered and it has a nice and even texture all around. I just tip it over and give it a few knocks with my finger to get rid of all the excess material and have it looking very with clean. With the small and sharp. details and carpet applied I could move on to assembling it. I'm just using some SAP CA glue otherwise known as super glue to glue these painted parts together. For the steering wheel, I threw out the original steering wheel that came with the kit 
and used a scale production race car steering wheel as I really think that suits the look of this car. I also threw out the original seats that came with the kit and replaced them with some seats from scale production as well. The interior is finished, so I put that aside and moved on to the clear parts. Now these clear parts usually need a black border all around, so I first off start by marking it with a pencil, then applying some masking tape on top of that and cutting along my pencil line to create a perfect template on the clear parts for that black border to be painted on with two coats of flat black from Vallejo with a brush. <laughs> 